Well, this is Kinnaird Village. This is a fairly new development to the north of Falkirk. And this is a suds pond. Um, this pond has been constructed to gather all the water from the roads and the roofs and to, to hold it here until it can get out into the local streams. The streams around here are really small, so if all the water that came off the roofs and the roads went in there straight away, it would cause lots of flooding. What this does is it holds back the water until the, the rain has passed and it allows the um, water to come out slowly. In addition, the, when the rain comes off the roads and the roofs, it picks up all the salts and oils and other potential pollutants. And if that was to get into the streams, it could cause some ecological harm. What happens here is that it's held up in these ponds and it cleans the water um, so that there's clean water going out into those streams. You know, it's not just about water storage and, and cleaning the water, it's actually a really good habitat for wildlife as well. You can see lots of birds on the ponds and in the summer there's hoverflies and butterflies and, and damselflies and dragonflies all around the edges. So it's a really important habitat right in the centre of this development. It's also good for people. Uh, you know, right in the middle of a housing development here, um, there's uh, something in the region of about a thousand houses here. You know, lots of families, um, lots of dogs as well. People walk their dogs and they, they walk around these ponds, they enjoy them. Um, and in the summer, some of the ponds on the estate, you know, you see people picnicking next to them. Um, so they're clearly a focal point for people as well. Some place where people can go, they can experience nature. The local school's got a green roof on it um, and the green roof is basically a constructed uh, roof with some vegetation on it. Some of the benefits from the roof is that it provides um, additional drainage um, for the school. It also provides additional insulation. Um, the fact that there are plants and things growing on the roof, it provides some habitat from some of our smaller wildlife um, and obviously contributes to things like pollination and all that brings about all the benefits that plants and things would within our environment. We have a, a really significant role to play in educating children about what they can not only do for their own community and their country but also what they can do globally. Um, so we do obviously teach children around issues like climate change and how we can you know, take part in recycling initiatives and basically in order to make our planet a better place to live in. So it's, it's really high up in the, the education agenda. We've thought a lot about natural capital over the last few years and we found that to us it's a way of building a bridge between environmentalists, those working in our sector and people making decisions in business, in government and people who might not necessarily be out and in nature uh, as often or maybe people who are and who absolutely love nature but when they get back to their desk and they've got to make decisions that involve money that's where natural capital arguments can be massively helpful um, so it's, it's basically an extra reason to protect nature the economic reason so you know nature-based solutions like this are important and and go a great way to um, providing solutions to some of the, the problems in the in our environment um, but we should really just value nature as well for, for the beauty it gives us and for the pleasure it gives us.